Mr. Andrew, and we are talking about Moses today. I have a memory verse for us. It's found in Psalm 121, seven through eight. You ready? It says, the Lord will keep you and watch over you. Now, I sometimes forget these memory verses, so I need to come up with some hand motions to help me remember. So I need your help too. So stand up, shake it out, and we're gonna learn this together. Are you ready? So Psalm 121, verses seven through eight. The Lord will keep you and watch over you. Now, we're gonna point up for the Lord and he will keep you just like a giant hug. He's gonna keep you and he's gonna watch over you. Just like maybe if you're in a boat and you're watching out for land. <laughs> okay, you ready? We're gonna learn this together. Here we go, we're gonna do it twice. Psalm 121, verse seven through eight. The Lord will keep you and watch over you. One more time. The Lord will keep you and watch over you. Well, guys, I hope that this helped you guys learn our memory verse for today. Why don't we check out this message from Miss Lexi? Hi, friends. Welcome back to another episode of our preschool Bible lessons. This month, we're going to be learning about a great man in the Bible. His name is Moses. He did amazing things for God in his lifetime. Throughout this month, we're going to be learning more about him, his life, and all all of the ways that God used him. Now let's start from the beginning. There was a group of people in the Bible called the Israelites. They were God's chosen people. At this time in our story, they were living peacefully, living in Egypt, until there was a new ruler over Egypt called the Pharaoh. He did not like the Israelites and was worried that there was way too many of them. So he made all of them slaves and made them work and build the Egyptian city. But the Israelites still grew more and more. So he made a new rule that there would be no more Israelite boys born into Egypt. And that's where we start the life of Moses. After this law was made, Moses was born. His mom kept him hidden three months from the Egyptians. When she couldn't hide him anymore, she laid him in a basket and put the basket in the river. Moses' sisters hid by the river and watched to see what would happen as he floated away in the basket. Then all of a sudden, Moses' sister saw Pharaoh's daughter walk to the river and spot Moses floating in the basket. She felt so much compassion for baby Moses that she picked him up out of the water and adopted him as her own son. Moses lived and was now the grandson of Pharaoh. Even though the law said that no Israelite boy could live, God still protected Moses from being found and even made a way where he could live. Isn't that amazing? God is such a great protector. He must have some amazing plans for Moses. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Moses. Next week, we're going to see what God does when Moses is in big trouble. I can't wait. Have an amazing week, and we'll see you next time.